Hey guys, it's Sprouts here, and welcome back to another Badlanders update video. Now I'm going to go through the patch notes for tomorrow in this video and give you some of my own thoughts on the subject, of course, and all the good points and maybe bad points. I'm not sure if there's any bad points looking through right now, but we'll get into it. We'll talk about it, and I would love to know your opinions in the comments. <laughs> So guys, first and foremost, what they're doing is they're finally, finally, finally changing the matching system for newcomer slash normal, whichever other way you remember it or see it. So basically now they're going to put a cap on, but not so much the CE cap, so you'll not be able to just, you know, be a really good player and join with terrible gear and still get in. So basically if you're higher than level 6, obviously level 7 is the unlock for Red Beach Base and Shelter Professional. If so, if you're level 7 or above and your asset value is over 600,000, now if you're not sure what your asset value is, it's the value of the contents of your warehouse. You can find this value above your inventory screen at the top left. You've got cash on the right hand side, you've got asset value on the left hand side. Basically how much everything in your warehouse costs if you were to sell it to the exchange then and now, so like the total value. So if your total value is more than 600,000, you are unable now to to join Shelter Normal. And I think that actually might stop people going in with high gear. It's not going to stop everybody, mind you, because there is people who have loads of tier 4 or tier 3 and stuff like that, and they're not actually above that threshold, but we'll sure find out how that helps the matchmaking. Now this next thing I'm quite excited for, which is to actually add in a clan system. Now I asked for this several months ago a lot of people disagreed with it but i think it's going to be a, a very good feature to add to the game so basically there's going to be a test for the clan system and with a certain amount of cash points you're going to be able to make a clan i don't know how many this is i have asked but they haven't as of yet said anything to us whatsoever i'm going to assume it's going to be around about the 200 mark because that's usual for for games like this maybe it's a bit more i don't know i hope it's not more because i want to make one then and there tomorrow so to help you settle into this clan system a bit better they are going to give you the ability to join a new clan straight away for the first two weeks of the test but after that if you leave a clan you'll have to wait two hours before you can join another one so i think this is because with the system being new it'll stop you joining a random clan or joining a clan by accident instead of the one you're supposed to and then you think oh, it's not really right for me i want to join a different one so at least you can settle in in the first two weeks now at the present moment each clan will only be able to hold 20 players i know there's quite a few communities clans out there right now on bad who have got way more than that but you might have to make multiple clans if that's the case because they're only going to allow 20 players and we will have an independent chat channel per clan on the game and you know how you've got team chat world chat local chat you'll now have a clan chat so you can talk to your clan members and squad up and stuff like that and the, they do say that there's more clan related gameplay which will be released one after another so stay tuned so i'm going to assume that's going to be like say uh, chances to upgrade your clan increase the member cap maybe weekly missions i can imagine they're going to give levels on clans like cod's got and stuff like that where you can level up the clan with clan points and activity and stuff like that maybe his rewards and ranking or whatever i don't know but it'll be interesting to find out what they do now as for adjustments this is something that i don't really personally suffer from but i'd imagine a lot of people do the effect of footsteps and gun shops and battle have been optimized making the direction of the sound source easier to judge now the way I play, I don't play with headphones, I have the volume quite quiet to begin with, so usually I go off the map, which doesn't really bother me as such, except if I'm in a multi-level building, I can't really tell which which floor someone's on, but I, I can, I can like, trial an hour, it sort of thing, gets us killed a lot, but anyway. Uh, the sound of footsteps when someone is moving downstairs has been optimised, making it easier to distinguish it from the sound of movement upstairs. Again, there's something that will not affect me, but I know a lot of you take this stuff very seriously, and it annoys you to the point of frustration. Hopefully this kind of fixes it for you. The accuracy of the sounds made by other players on the ground of, diff of different materials has been optimised. As you know, if you, you run on the dirt or you run on the road or you run on metal, the, the different sounds might, might help you to sort of figure out if someone rushing you in the apartments on 
shelter or outside or inside, something like that. The interactions and display of sun in-game interfaces have been optimised. I don't know which ones, it doesn't specify. And there's one more fix, which is the problem of no red dot notice after unlocking a new avatar has been fixed. I haven't got a clue what that meant, but never mind, I haven't noticed it myself. But if you have experienced that, then they've fixed it. So guys, uh, for my personal opinion, I can't wait for the clan system to hit where I'm going to be making one straight away. Take this opportunity, if you are looking for a clan, my clan slash community free dog tags is an open recruitment. Go ahead and jump on my Discord server, which is in the description. Tag me or tag uh, one of the vice leaders. You can add vice leader or whatever, and they'll, they'll uh, get in touch with you, and we'll get everything sorted. Now, I can't promise there'll be loads of room in the Badlanders clan, but there's nothing stopping we're making more than one clan like I've previously mentioned. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I can't wait till tomorrow to try this out, see how many cash points it's going to set us back. And I'll see you all in the next video. If you have enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button and make sure you do subscribe. As you know, I am an official Badlanders content creator. And if you want up-to-date news and gameplay from the game, make sure you are subscribed. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.